sick and tired of being hot every single night? Well, today I'm gonna to be talking about some natural remedies to lessen hot flashes, which will hopefully get you to sleep better. In order to understand what hot flashes are and how some of these remedies actually work, I'm gonna to have to dive into some physiology of menopause. And yes, I promise, I will keep this very, very simple. I like to think of the physiology of the menstrual cycle as following the yellow brick road. There's a small structure in your brain called the hypothalamus which sends a signal to another small structure in the brain called the pituitary gland. This pituitary gland then releases a signal to the ovaries, which release two major hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Now these hormones fluctuate in overall levels throughout the menstrual cycle, but around day 14, they come together in just the right way in order for a woman to make an egg. This egg can then be susceptible for fertilization, ultimately leading to the formation of a baby. I'm guessing you didn't think I'd be talking about how we make babies on this video, but that's the physiology of it in a nutshell. Most women start menstruating around ages 11 to 14 and continue all the way through menopause. The average age of menopause is about 51 and a half years old. Now in menopause, the two hormones that I talked about before, estrogen and progesterone will both go down, but as you get closer to menopause, the amount of progesterone goes down substantially and the amount of estrogen decreases just a little bit. Essentially, the proportion of progesterone decreases a lot more than the proportion of estrogen. This hormone imbalance is one of the driving factors behind menopause. And speaking of, let's talk about some symptoms of menopause that unfortunately you might be very familiar with. One of the biggest, most common symptoms in menopause is hot flashes. Other things that I see quite often that can happen are things like mood swings, depressed mood, night sweats, insomnia, bone loss, as well as vaginal dryness. So now that I've bored you to tears about some of the physiology and some of the signs and symptoms, which you may or may not already be familiar with, what can you actually do to stop hot flashes from occurring? Well, as you approach menopause, when you lose the overall natural cycle, which I talked about earlier, about the pituitary gland sending a signal to the ovaries, this can lead to a decrease in overall levels of vitamin E. So what I would recommend to start with at a baseline is to increase your own diet or supplement your diet with extra vitamin E. I would start with buying just a plain old vitamin E supplement and taking the recommended amount as on the back of the bottle. The next thing you can do is increase your overall iodine consumption, which will help balance out the proportions of estrogen and progesterone. Again, same thing by this, I would buy an iodine supplement, doesn't matter where you get it, just make sure it's a reputable brand and take what is recommended on the back of the bottle. The next thing with supplement or naturally if you want to is to increase your consumption of fish to help get those healthier fatty acids. Again, finding a reputable fish oil supplement and taking one to two capsules or whatever is recommended on the back of the bottle. The fourth supplement is actually really important and it can be a little bit funny or harder to find and it's calcium D-glucurate. This is not the same thing as a calcium-based supplement. You have to find a supplement that says calcium D-glucurate specifically in order to gain or yield these benefits. This supplement will help you detoxify the estrogen in your body and create more of that balance of estrogen and progesterone. The four supplements that we've talked about so far, and this is something that you can easily incorporate into your daily regimen, is number one, vitamin E, number two, iodine, number three, consuming fish or fish oil supplements, and number four, calcium D-glucurate. I would start with these four supplements in combination, and these will hopefully get your hot flashes to go away, if not definitely lessen substantially. The other things are more just lifestyle factors, but they are really, really important, not only for hot flashes, but your health overall. These things are just the basics that I do talk about in a lot of videos, but are so important. 
and that's limiting your consumption of refined sugar and ultra processed foods, getting enough sleep, making sure your weight is down or close to your ideal body weight, and definitely making sure that you're getting enough adequate exercise, about 30 minutes of moderate exercise per day, at least five days per week. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I do want to talk about magnesium supplement as this can be very beneficial for you if you have hot flashes. One of the best magnesium formulations that I've been recommending a bunch, especially on this channel, is magnesium glycinate. This can not only help with your hot flashes, but it has tons of other health benefits as well. So if you are interested, I highly recommend checking out this video about magnesium glycinate and you can click on it right here.